Hi there, my name is Liam from Palo Alto, California. Uh, in meeting Ajit Jain, I've been uh, very impressed over the years. I think I even met his parents once, they came from India. Uh, please comment on your deepest impressions of his personality and managerial skills, and also uh, how you go about exactly keeping somebody with such uh, fine skills within the fold. He, he might go to Walt Disney someday and uh, you know, pull down 200 million. Well, he gets offered 200 million. <laughs> we may not be, compete too vigorously at that level. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we basically try to, to, to run a business so that, 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 that we, Charlie and I have two jobs. We, we, we have to identify and, and, uh, and, and, and uh, keep good managers interested after, uh, after we figured out who they are, and that often is a little different here because I would say a majority of our managers are financially independent so that they, they don't go to work because they, they, uh, they are worried about, about putting kids through school or, or, uh, or putting food on the table. So they, they have to have some reason to go to work aside from that. They, they have to be treated fairly in terms of compensation, but they also have to figure it is better than playing golf every day or whatever it may be. And, uh, so that's one of the jobs we have, and, and we basically attack that the same way. We, we look at, at what they do the same way we look at what we do. It, uh, we've got a wonderful group of shareholders. Before I ran this, I had a partnership. I had a great group of partners, and essentially, uh, I like to be left alone to do what I did. I like to be judged on the scorecard at the end of the year rather than on every stroke, and, and, uh, and not second-guessed in a way that was inappropriate. Uh, I like to have people who understood the environment in which I was operating. And so the important thing uh, we do with managers generally is, is, to, is to find the 400 hitters and then not tell them how to swing, as I put in the report. Second thing we do is allocate capital. And aside from that, we play bridge. But, uh, that's pretty much what uh, happens at Berkshire. So with uh, any of the managers you might name here, uh, we try to make it interesting and, and, and fun for them to run their business. We try to have a compensation arrangement that's appropriate for the kind of business they're in. We have no company-wide compensation plan. We wouldn't dream of having some compensation expert or consultant come in and screw it up. Uh, we, uh, we try to, some businesses require a lot of capital that we're in, some require no capital. Some are easy businesses where good profit margins are, 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 are a cinch to come by, but, but we're really paying for the extra beyond that. Some are very tough businesses to make money in. And it, it would be crazy to have some huge, huge uh, framework that we tried to place everybody in that, that uh, where one size would, would, would fit all. Uh, people generally are compensated relating uh, in some manner that relates to how their business does as opposed to, there's no reason to pay anybody based on how Berkshire does because uh, no one has responsibility for Berkshire except for, for uh, Charlie and me. And, uh, and uh, we try to make them responsible for their own units, compensated based on how those units do. We try to understand the businesses they're in so we know what the difference between a good performance and a bad performance. Uh, it, it, it's, uh, and that's, about, that's, that's, that's how, we, uh, how we work with people. We've had terrific luck over the years in, uh, in retaining uh, the managers uh, uh, that we wanted to retain, and uh, and it's, uh, uh, I think largely it's because, particularly they sell us a business that to a great extent, uh, the next day they're running it just as they were the day before, and and uh, they're having as much fun running their business as I have running uh, Berkshire. Charlie. Well, I've got nothing to add, but I think it's that concept of of treating the other fellow, the way you'd like to be treated if the roles were reversed. Uh, it's so simple when you stop to think about it, but uh, it's a rare evening when Ajit and Warren aren't talking once on the phone. It, it's, it's more than a business relationship, at least it seems that way to me. Yeah, well it is. It'll stay that way too. I and, mean, uh, and by the way, we like our businesses, our relationships to be more than a business relationship. Charlie and I are very far. We, we basically, it's, it, it's, it's a luxury, but it's a luxury that, that we, should, uh, we should try to nurture. We get to work with people we like. 
and it, uh, it makes life a lot simpler. It probably helps on that goal of being the oldest living American, too. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, and we tend to like people we admire. Yeah, who do we like that we don't admire, Charlie? <laughs> Start naming names. <laughs> do these people have names? 